what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far It is Tuesday morning. I just got back home with CJ from his doctor's appointment. Um, so he had his follow up. Now who's calling me? My phone has rang every time I've tried to film this. Um, we had his follow up from being in the ER. It went pretty well. His oxygen is staying up. His blood pressure and his heart rate are staying where they should be. Um, she said that she would refill his steroids because he's still needing those. Um, as far as getting him a referral to the asthma doctor, that has turned out to be a total disaster. And it's not going too well. Um, it's giving me a headache is what it's doing. I've been trying to get this referral since um, he got transferred to the other hospital. They had mentioned him needing one to go over there to the Asthma and Allergy Center. They said he needed testing for eosinophilic asthma. So, I've been working on that while he was in the hospital. The asthma clinic keeps saying they don't have the referral. Um, the doctor's office today went ahead and resent it and gave me a paper copy to hand deliver if I need to. But, the asthma clinic at this time still hasn't received it. Um, they told me they would call me if they did receive it. So I'm trying to decide if I should just drive this up there or not worry about it until tomorrow because it's already been this long since like he got out of the hospital Saturday and it's now Tuesday. Um, and I've been trying to get the referral into them since Thursday. So anyways, um, the lady I talked to there said that even when she does get the referral, that there's no way they could follow up in 10 days like the um, hospital recommended and said he needed because he was going to be out of inhalers within 10 days. Um, they said it would be the end of August, beginning of September. And so that's the time frame we're looking at right now. I told him, you know, his referral was a rushed referral. It says, you know, right there on it that he needs it ASAP. She said we could put him on a wait list for a cancellation, but he would be behind almost 30 other people. So if he runs out of inhalers, um, because they're doing his breathing treatments with inhalers and spacers now, they said it was um, a better way for him to get the medication than a nebulizer. Um, if he runs out, he could end up back in the hospital. So I'm very stressed about this, but at the moment, that's all I know. I'm gonna make some more calls this afternoon, but I wanted to hop on here, kind of tell you guys about that. I made the kids sausage and eggs for breakfast this morning. I think lunch is gonna be leftovers and peanut butter and jelly or sun butter and jelly for anybody that wants those. I was planning on making Chinese food for dinner tonight. I don't know if I'm still going to. James took a load to Crescent, Texas, I think he said. And then he has another load he has to pick up somewhere else in Texas and then bring back. And so he will probably not be in tonight. So I was thinking about moving meals around because I know 
he likes when we do the Chinese food and the egg rolls and tempura and stuff. So I was thinking about swapping Friday's dinner with tonight's dinner because Friday I'm making goulash. So maybe tonight I'll make goulash and Friday I'll make Chinese food. Um, I think that's the plan. And anyways, I'm exhausted and goulash is a lot easier to make. And I'm trying to clean the upstairs. I'm trying to sort through clothes kids outgrew. I was doing that anyway. And then I hurt my back and I got sick. And then this happened with CJ. And so I just stopped. So I'm almost done with the boys' room. And that's going through um, clothes, toys, books, everything. And um, I'm getting ready to start the girls' room. I also have a friend who gave me a new dresser for Maddie. Maddie has like a big upright um, like a wardrobe type thing and she doesn't really need that um, everything gets pulled off of it and just it's a mess so I think I'm actually gonna move that to the boys' room um, because it has closing shelves and things and I'm gonna use that as like a storage for extra bedding for all the kids because we don't have like closets in our house like a normal house so I was thinking I could do that for bedding and things because right now we keep it all in totes and then I have a friend who's giving me a dresser for Maddie. So when I go to do the girls' clothes and room and all that, I'm going to move that dresser, like I said, into the boys' or that wardrobe into the boys' room, move Maddie the new dresser in, finish going through all the girls' clothes and toys, because girls have way too many toys going on in there, and get their room in order. And then once I'm done with all of that, I want to thoroughly vacuum and carpet clean both rooms because um, I haven't carpet cleaned since fall upstairs. Um, I think fall, maybe winter. I It's been a while. I don't carpet clean upstairs a whole lot. Nobody wears shoes and stuff up there anyway, but I want to carpet clean and vacuum the upstairs. So I'm working on that, uh, working on going through clothing and all that. And that on top of CJ's treatments every other hour and his medications and watching his O2 and taking care of the other four kids. Um, we now have three pigs, a donkey, like I don't know, 50 or 60 chickens, 10 or 12 rabbits, two dogs, three cats, partridge in a pear tree, I don't know, and a garden. So I'm just I'm stretched very thin. So I'm going to be recruiting worker children today and children who are smaller or um, not needed for a task are going to be on Disney Plus watching movies because that's just what I need right now. I need the kids who can help me to help me. I need CJ to be still and not breathe too hard or do anything that's going to wear him out. I need my girls probably to help me and Bubba to help me, Maddie to watch a movie. Yeah, I just need things to go smoothly so I can get a lot done because I just like I said I have so much on my plate last week I was supposed to go to the doctor Wednesday for um, being sick because I have something going on and I thought it was turning into pneumonia it feels better than it did last Wednesday but I do still have a really bad cough and congestion and stuff going on and then on top of that I also needed to see my doctor because they said my spinal cord was being compressed and I needed an MRI um, I have acute spinal bifida, and so I'm having some issues. I hurt my back, um, and that appointment was Wednesday. We were in the ER and then being transferred and all that Wednesday, and so I didn't go. I canceled my appointment. I moved it. Um, I told them, reschedule me whenever. I don't care. I'm busy right now. They emailed me and rescheduled it for this Friday, so I have that this Friday. They have speech therapy and occupational care therapy Thursday. Wednesday, we have church. Today, CJ had his appointment. What was yesterday? Oh, yesterday the kids had speech and occupational therapy. Um, so I'm just, I'm tired and um, I just, I need to get things done and I need things to get done. Like for my peace of mind, I need to start seeing some progress happen with this project because it's pushing my anxiety level. And I've already got high anxiety because of things going on with CJ and the doctors and his health. And so let me see if I can move my camera a little bit. Um, I just, yeah, I need this project to get finished and finished well. So I'm going to work on that all day. So I think I'm going to take out some ground beef for the goulash and we'll worry about um, tempura on Friday. But 
I'm gonna get inside. I'm gonna get kids taking care of animals. We have like a 106 to 111 degree temperature today, not including the heat index. Right now it's probably already 90. That's why I was gonna try to chat with you guys with the car off and the door open, but it got too hot too fast in the car while I was on the phone with James. So I'm running the car with the air on right now. But um, I need kids to come outside, feed and water all the animals, fresh water, cold water, and um, collect eggs and things this morning and do so pretty early before the temperature goes up too much more. And then later I'll have to send them out to do fresh water. And again, I'll have to send them out later this afternoon again for fresh water. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get kids outside doing that. I am going to get busy on some laundry, start working on going through some stuff out of the girls' room that I had Mika bring down for me. And I'm just gonna get this ball rolling. I'll kind of update you guys throughout the day on what I'm doing and all that in progress. And I'll let you guys know when I talk to the asthma clinic, what we can do on that because I'm getting a little frustrated. Anyways, um, if you guys could pray he gets in sooner than the end of August, beginning of September, I would be very grateful for that because I'm very worried that he's gonna end up back in the hospital. Um, but that's what we have going on right now. So I'm gonna get inside and get busy. loads of laundry changed out and washed, fed kids lunch, and I've been out here working in the garden about half an hour, but I am hot and I'm about to go in, and my phone just alerted me. We're in a heat advisory, so I'm going to go in and drink some water and cool off, but I wanted to show you guys what I got done real quick. It's not a ton, but it's progress, and I'll take progress at this point. So that I've pulled so far from this little area, and then you can see where I stopped, but I'm hot. But also, look at all these tomatoes I'm getting. There's a bunch there. There's a bunch on this one. There's a big one down there. Let me show you guys that. And this one's got a few small ones. This one and the next one are loaded down heavily. Let me get where I can show it. Hi, Miss Penny. Hi. There is a big one right there or two big ones and then this one right here has some giant ones there's that one right there that is enormous it looks like two but it's one big one and then it's got several others hiding in there and then we've got the jungle that's where I didn't get done yet but I did get that done. Can you tell? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm starting to get flowers on these, so I really need to get that done. But it's just too hot right now. And Penny, there she is. Penny wants you to see the flowers that are blooming. Okay, give me a minute. Starting to bloom real good. 
today. So ridiculously hot. Huh, Penny? It's too hot. Um, we've got all kinds of little squash. They're just not ready to pick. I picked some yesterday, but no more are ready just yet. But Penny wants you to see the zinnias, zinnias, however you say that, and sunflowers. We have a couple of those blooming. I forget what those were called, those sunflowers, the purple ones. Yeah, blossoms. something like that. But we do have these are blooming. Yeah, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we have sunflowers and a whole row of flowers here. And butterflies. Yep, the corn's doing good. Good and good. The watermelon and stuff are doing good. The pennies doing good. Yep, the pennies doing good. All the rest is doing good. There's just a lot of weeds. So I ended up deciding not even to do the goulash and decided to do a butternut pasta. So I'm browning my ground beef and then I'm going to drain off all the grease that's excess in there. And I will um, show you guys how I made this pasta. He wanted to help me cook dinner so she's going to take over browning the ground beef and while she's doing that I went to the freezer got out some mushrooms and onions and we added those to the meat just so that they could cook while the meat cooks and then we drained off our ground beef we added some salt pepper a little bit of onion powder and some garlic powder now we're going to add a pound of pasta and about three cups of water and I just brought it up to a boil and I continuously kind of gave it a gentle stir until our pasta was done and our water was gone and then now I'm going to add our butternut squash pasta to this and we're going to give those a good stir and then we are going to add cheese and this will be ready to eat. about three quarters of a cup of water to this and brought it up to a boil because I'm about to add cheese to it and I just don't want it to get too thick when it gets all melted in so I'm just kind of stirring the water in and then I'm going to add our cheese. Penny shredded up eight ounces of mozzarella cheese and put that into our pan. Now I'm just kind of stirring it into the pasta and once it melts, we'll be ready to serve our dinner. Here is our finished butternut squash pasta. It turned out so good. The kids absolutely loved it and I'll definitely be buying that pasta sauce again to make this but I think next time I'll use turkey just because it's a little healthier. I've also been contemplating buying the chickpea pasta. If anybody has purchased that please let me know in the comments if it is good. If it's equivalent to regular pasta will my kids like it? All of the things but here is our finished dinner. I just made up some green beans to go with it. But this was definitely a huge hit and something that I will make again. I honestly wish I would have planted some butternut squash in my garden now just so I could make some butternut squash pasta sauce and can that and keep it on hand. But unfortunately I am losing a battle to squash bugs this year anyway so I may not have even gotten any butternut squash if I had grown it. Anyways this is dinner tonight. Um, it really was really really good and something that we are going to definitely eat again. Kids and I have been watching a lot of 7th Heaven early in the morning and at bedtime so we are going to watch some 7th Heaven, get some baths, and go to bed. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time with another new video. Bye!